Hello everybody, Jim here, coming to you again from my apartment here in Tokyo on uh, this fine sunny afternoon, but it's very windy though, so if you hear the sounds that uh, sound like an apartment rattling, it's because of the gale force winds outside. Don't know what that's about, but I'm sitting here uh, sipping some coffee, gearing up for uh, the coming golden week, which normally would be a pretty good time, but... Uh, we are dealing with yet another state of emergency here, so uh, lots of stuff. Uh, probably going to be shut down, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with my Golden Week. Uh, probably play a lot of video games and uh, work on some videos. You know, the usual kind of thing I do when I'm at home. Um, anyway, as I uh, get a little sip off the old uh, coffee here, excuse me. Um, the um, purpose of today's video, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about something um, that I guess I found kind of interesting, and that is the Intellivision Amico, which is a uh, console that uh, is scheduled to be released later this year, although it's my understanding that there have been a number of delays in its release, um, so it may or may not be released in October of this year, um, but uh, I wanted to discuss it, uh, my thoughts on it a little bit, and I also wanted to uh, gauge the thoughts of you, the audience, um, because what I have found to be more interesting than the console itself is the communities, I guess, that have kind of sprung up around this unreleased console. Um, so I find that to be fairly interesting. So I'll give my thoughts, and then I'd love to hear yours as well down in the comments. Um, because, yeah, this is, uh, something I want to know if, uh, the members of my audience are as, uh, strongly opinionated about this as, uh, some of what I've seen across YouTube. Um, but, yeah, the Intellivision Amico, I didn't really, I hadn't even thought about it until, uh, I want to say maybe like a month ago or more, I saw a video by John Riggs, uh, talking about the Amico, and I had not even thought about it for I don't know how long. The last I had heard about it kind of in passing was just that there was this console called the Intellivision Amico that was in production and the new CEO of uh, uh, Intellivision was Tommy Tallarico who I remembered from uh, Electric Playground back in the day. I used to enjoy watching Electric Playground with Victor Lucas and then I knew that he had composed a number of soundtracks for video games. But other than that, you know, I didn't um, uh, really recall anything else. Like, I didn't uh, remember that he was the uh, CEO of Intellivision until I saw the John Riggs video. And he was talking about the Amico, and I was like, oh, I haven't uh, heard about that in I don't know how long. Let me go, you know, so I went and did a little research and had a, a look. And so I saw the Intellivision channel you know, with the promotional videos for the Amico and some promotional materials from Tommy. And um, so my initial impression after seeing all that was that it was underwhelming, I guess. Um, so I, I personally don't find the console itself to be uh, of much interest. Um, I, I think I said something to the effect of a lot of the games look like games that you could probably already play on some other service or conceivably even play them on your phone. Some of them looked kind of like Flash games. I understand that they're like updated versions of some Intellivision classics, um, but they, you know, it wasn't uh, terribly impressive to me. And then the price point I saw was $250 and I think $300 for a certain model, um, which I thought was kind of you know, really like unreasonable for a, a game console that isn't going to uh, play anything that you couldn't just as easily play either on your phone or some other uh, online service. Um, so the console itself, not at all interesting to me, but that's just my opinion, but um, I kind of can see in the marketing that I'm not really the target audience, so I guess it's kind of predictable um, that I wouldn't have much interest in it um, so the marketing to me is kind of interesting. Um, so I'm looking here at uh, the Intellivision website and uh, just some of the um, 
uh, blurbs they have here, so I want to read them. And uh, I'll try to do uh, my best uh, um, nice, uh, smooth commercial, man. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's give this a shot. Isn't it true that your fondest memories of playing video games are when you played together in the same room with a group of people? Much has changed in gaming since Intellivision began, with games becoming more isolating, complicated, and competitive. Using technology, creativity, and unrivaled passion, our team is on a mission to bring family and friends together again. So that kind of paints a, a picture, I guess, that, um, you know, don't you remember like a better time? So this is a very nostalgia-driven uh, console, obviously. It's it's uh, styled in a retro manner, which I appreciate, because for the most part, I'm a retro gamer, but I, you know, play my modern games as well. But it's, it's sort of giving that... Um, that scenario that uh, now games are they're too isolating and they're too complicated and I don't think anyone um, under a certain age really feels that way uh, video games modern video games are not very isolating uh, you can play with lots and lots of people all over the world um, it's not the same as couch co-op um, but for a generation that has grown up with online gaming and games with you know hundreds or thousands of people online um, that that's not really that isolating of an experience um, and then you know a number of those games you can play together as well uh, just recently I think I was at it was either a Christmas party last year or the New Year's uh, party but we were all sat around with a, a switch I think and we were playing Bomberman and Mario Kart so there was still couch co-op but you know you could play online too um, but you know, it, it's given you that image that, you know, modern games, too complicated, too isolating. So I think this is really directed at uh, an older audience. Um, this, and also because it's in television, and anyone under a certain age, like me, I'm still I'm in my early, thir early 30s, so I've never played an in television in my life, so I don't have any kind of, like, nostalgic connection to Intellivision, which I think is kind of the target audience here. People uh, have an affection for uh, Intellivision and sort of that era of gaming. So um, more of the, the 40 and over crowd, uh, I think, is is who this is uh, really uh, marketed to. Um, let me... There was one other thing here. Um, uh, okay, this... Uh, one more thing. Um, when designing the Amico, we had a vision. Make gaming accessible again. Our team has packed an incredible amount of features into a simple and affordable package. Luckily, we didn't have to start from scratch. The original Intellivision system had many great features that served as inspiration for Amico. Modern technology, updated ergonomics, and a modern personality make for an entertainment system like no other. So again, sort of giving the uh, impression um, that uh, modern gaming, it's not accessible, and it, it's complicated, and we need to go back to basics, and uh, things like that. So again, I think the marketing for this is um, really targeted towards the 40 and over crowd, you know, a crowd that maybe isn't so much into online gaming, and um, is, is more uh, into the retro scene, and um, sort of uh, nostalgia trips, and things like that. Um, which is fine. Again, as a retro gamer, I appreciate that. Not quite this retro, mind you. Again, I don't really have any affection for Intellivision so much. I'm more of like, you know, Sega, Nintendo, 90s kid, that kind of thing. Um, but also, you know, I grew up in the generation where online gaming became really popular. So when I was a kid, things like EverQuest Online um, became really popular. Uh, Fantasy Star Online and some of the online stuff you could do with the Dreamcast and then later the, the PS2 and then World of Warcraft and stuff, so, um, you know, people my age and younger um, are, you know, familiar and comfortable with online gaming, and uh, it's, you know, we don't find it to be terribly complicated or, uh, or isolating, so, um, the Amico, uh, I get this uh, impression then that it, I'm not, you know, their target audience, which makes sense, I'm not interested in the console, and the games don't look Again, they don't look very impressive at all. It, you know, it looks like uh, games you could play on your phone. Like, you know, these are some, you know, classic titles I guess they're inspired by. Things like uh, Moon Patrol and 
and Missile Command and um, you know other various games like that. But uh, again, uh, when you can conceivably just play these on your Switch or download them on your PS4 or if you have like Steam or uh, yeah, some of these you can just, uh, they look like games you can get in the Google Play Store. Um, so not impressive to me, but that is just a you know very subjective opinion. Um, so, but uh, like I said, more interesting to me than the Amico itself are people's reactions to it. Um, so, when I was looking for uh, videos about the Amico, I not only found the Intellivision channel and all their promotional materials, um, I saw that there were a lot of channels talking about the Amico and there wasn't, it seemed like it was to one extreme or the other. It seemed like there was a camp of uh, channels where, you know, the, the Amico has not been released, but they are very excited and anticipating it. Um, they're doing reaction videos, they're doing discussion videos, they're just talking about Amico, Amico, Amico. Um, they are very, very excited for the console. And again, to go along with the marketing, a lot of what I saw was they it, it would have appeared to be the 40 and over crowd um, who have uh, a nostalgic affection for the Intellivision brand they are retro gamers so to them looking at the Amico it looks pretty cool um, so they're you know very excited about it but it wasn't like marginal excitement it was like full-on passionate oh my god this is gonna be the best thing ever um, very like 100% on the optimistic range. Um, that, you know, this is going to be fantastic, amazing. Um, and on the other end, which I found um, equally maybe kind of baffling, because again, it's a it's a console that is not released yet. Um, I think there have been some demonstrations where people have had some hands-on with it. But for the most part, the channels I'm watching, I'm under the impression that they themselves have not yet played the Amico, they have not put their hands on it, so they don't really know what their actual impression of it might be. If they played it, they're just going by what they've seen uh, in videos, um, which, fair enough, those videos are meant to advertise and get people excited about the console, so these are people that are really excited about it. And then on the other end, I found videos were, that were just extreme skepticism and extremely um, negative. Again, you know, from people who presumably haven't really had any kind of interaction with the console. Um, but saying, you know, basically saying that, like, taking my opinion but going, like, much, much further with it. Like I said, I'm not interested in it. The games don't look terribly, um, you know, compelling to me. Um, but some people taking that and running with it like they look like absolute dog shit and no one's ever going to want to play this and this is crap and some people even going as far as to say it's a scam you know Tommy Tellerico is just trying to rip people off he's he's going to take the money and run he's going to shit out the Amico uh, it's going to flop and then he'll he'll you know he'll have made a quick buck and then all his investors will be pissed and he won't care and blah 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 um, so really two opposite extremes when it comes to reactions that I've seen to the Amico. People 100% behind it, certain it's going to be like the best thing since sliced bread, and then people 100% opposed to it, they hate it, and they think it's just like an outright scam. Um, and so that to me is more interesting than the console itself, because while I'm not interested particularly in the Amico or its games, it seems like fairly uh, innocuous. It's just, you know, a little console that maybe if you're nostalgic for Intellivision or something, you buy it and you play some games and whatever. Um, it doesn't seem to me like something that would really draw those kinds of extreme negative or positive reactions out of people. Um, so that that's the thing that to me has been more interesting than, than the console itself, is how I've seen some people react to it. I understand that... Um, it's sort of, I've seen some a, a little bit about how it's marketed as like a console for the family and to play with your kids and things like that. Um, I, I don't think though that that's really like realistic. I think it's, again, it's a console for the 40 and over crowd or nostalgic for television. And if they have kids, 
It's kind of hard for me to imagine, like, maybe, like, a 10-year-old kid being too terribly interested in the Amico. They're probably going to want, like, PlayStation or, or something like that. I can imagine when I was a kid, maybe, I don't know, maybe, like, between the ages of, like, 10 and 13, like, if you would have said, you know, if Amico existed then, if they came to me and said, would you like this or would you like a PlayStation 2? I would have been, like, obviously a PlayStation 2. Um, so I don't really think there would be, like, a much of a market for it for kids because you know kids want the, you know the new console that everybody wants I want the Nintendo or the PlayStation or whatever um, and the Amico is more for uh, I guess maybe mom and dad who you know really have fond memories of Intellivision and stuff um, so again that's sort of just like my two cents on the console itself I'm not terribly interested in it but I don't think I'm the target audience um, but more interesting than the console itself are the reactions the polar opposite reactions. I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, video content of people going, eh, I'm middle of the road. I uh, I don't have much of an opinion on this. So um, that's why I'd like to hear from, from uh, the audience in the comments. What do you think of uh, the Intellivision Amico and uh, what do you think of sort of the um, polarizing reactions to it? Uh, I'd be interested to hear about that kind of stuff. And I've been rambling on for quite long enough now. I want to get back to my coffee and uh, maybe play uh, a video game or two. I actually think I'm going to play Skull Monkeys today. For some reason, I just got a hankering for Skull Monkeys. Uh, anyway, everybody, thanks for listening. Uh, again, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments. And I will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.